The Premier League clubs are going to spend a lot of money this summer. Saudi Arabia may be all the rage, but top players in their primes know what the best league in the world is. So, here is our top set of footballers who could join from abroad and grace the Premier League next season. Your friend Turan could be the game changer for Jurgen Klopp. The 22 year old Nice midfielder is a fantastic all round footballer. A loose analogy to his game could be Paul Pogba at his best and in a more advanced position. Turam is a fantastic dribbler and passer and would help Liverpool in build up. It's not a surprise to see Nice refuse to let the young star go. But anyway, he is expected to move to Liverpool next month for a fee of around 40 million euros. The probability of this transfer is about 70%. Rasmus Hoyland from Atalanta is a target for Man United who badly need goals, and the 20-year-old Dane could be the answer. Hoyland scored more than Martial and Verkus combined last season. On top of it, he has six goals in just five Denmark appearances. He may appear lonky, but he's incredibly technically gifted with the ball. The only problem is his price tag. Atalanta reportedly want up to 100 million euros. This is way too much for him, but also shows his potential. There's a good chance Man United and Atalanta agree on a fee of around 60 or 70 million euros. We'll give it a 50% chance of happening. Next up is Sandro Tonelli, who is set to join Newcastle. There's a lot of hype around this deal, and many neutral fans predict that this will be the best transfer of the summer. Tonelli is 23 years old and plays as a box-to-box, -box, and Daddy Howe needs combative players at Newcastle. In no way is he going to be cheap though. According to reliable rumors, he will cost 70 million euros. But gone are the days when Newcastle couldn't make it happen. The deal is on its way to completion, and we give it an 80% probability to happen. Andre Onana had a brilliant last campaign which culminated in the Champions League final performance. A few years ago, he was a super talented goalie at Ajax. Then he got suspended for 9 months for doping and virtually disappeared. But Inter took a chance on him and benefited big time. They will benefit once more if Chelsea or Man United send a good offer. In particular, Man United seem to be all over Andre Onana, and a bid of around 40 million euros is set to be coming. Unlike David De Gea, Onana is fantastic with the ball at his feet. And anyway, De Gea is closer to leaving Man United. We give it a 60% chance of happening. Just three years ago, Randall Kolmuari played in the fourth division in France. Now his club Eintracht Frankfurt demand 100 million euros for his services. And it's not a surprise. For all the hype about Christophe Nkunku, Kolmuari had a better season in Bundesliga. He scored 23 and assisted 17 goals in all competitions. He was one Emiliano Martinez save away from being the national hero for France. Man United want him, but they are stuck with the takeover process. So expect other clubs to be involved. As it stands, we give it a 20% chance of happening. Time is really running out for the Red Devils. The World Cup champion with Argentina Lautaro Martinez may finally quit Serie A this summer. According to some whispers, he is tempted by the Premier League after winning every trophy in Italy. In particular, he could be interested in working for fellow Argentinian Mauricio Pochettino at Chelsea. But at the moment, there are no even half serious reports about this transfer. Still, we give it a 20% chance of Lotaro going to a Premier League club desperate for goals. Victor Osimhen may be the hottest striker around. Last season, he netted 31 goals for Napoli, who became the surprising champions of Italy. Virtually any top club apart from Man City could be interested, but it's Chelsea and Man United who need him the most. Then there are also PSG, Real Madrid and Bayern Munich lurking in the background. Osimhen is easily a 100 million euros plus asset. He's a top goal scorer about to hit his prime who can do it all. The price tag is huge but justified. There are very few players of his profile in the world. Because of the fee, it's only a 20% chance of him leaving Napoli this year and Napoli will fight for every penny for the star player. So, Neymar. The Brazilian may be an option for Chelsea and Newcastle, who now have a lot of money. PSG wants to get rid of Neymar again, even despite a quietly fantastic last season. Neymar scored 18 goals and assisted 17 in just 29 games. Chelsea may be complicated, but Newcastle doesn't seem so unrealistic. 
they will play in the Champions League next season and might need experienced players. In addition, they have a Brazilian contingent in Bruno Guimaraes and Joy Linton. Will be bold and give it at a 40% probability of rival. Joško Gvardiol is about to become the world's most expensive centre back, so Harry Maguire is no more. Man City are firmly after the Croatian. RB Leipzig are holding out for 100 million euros for a player who could define a generation in his position. Gvardiol is only 21 years old, but he's a nailed on starter for one of Bundesliga's best clubs and also his national team. Pep Guardiola wants him and there's no reason why Guardiol shouldn't choose Man City if the clubs agree the transfer. It's 80% certain to happen. Kylian Mbappe may leave PSG this summer and Man United could be interested. Now, hear us out. First of all, this is a big if. This mostly depends on the Man United takeover situation. If Sheikh Jazim ends up buying the club from the Glazers, he's got the money to make it happen. In addition, he seems to be friends with the PSG president. And for what it's worth, PSG would gladly sell Mbappe to anyone but Real Madrid. There's no point in giving it any tangible probability of a transfer as of now. But if Jazim is successful with his bid, see the chances of a Man United transfer spike. That is, if Mbappe isn't a Real Madrid player by then. There are so many more transfers we could tell you about. Bargain transfers, fantastic moves outside the top 6 and so on. Let's make it a deal. If this video hits a thousand likes, we'll tell you a lot more in another video. And don't forget to leave your comment, subscribe and go to tribuna.com to be the first to know what happens in the Premier League.